It's a republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We'll now have the national anthem. Okay, greetings. Greetings to our, on behalf of John Finney High School, I want to say greetings to our community and our families for our graduation. Um, I like to take my time on this particular piece because I want to make sure I honor and thank people that made it, this, made it to this point. First of all, I would like to thank our teachers. I'm going to say them by name. Ms. Madeline Feely, clap for. Ms. Beth Gabler. Ms. Chris, Mr. Christopher Varios. Mr. Steve Quinlan. Mr. Anthony Chang. Mr. Michael Rosenthal. I have one other teacher, but I'm going to save that teacher for, for another moment, moment in time. I'd like to also um, give a special thanks to Pete Gallo, our head custodian, our site safety supervisors, Chris Smith and D. Klaus. Our office staff, Ms. Margot Duncan, Ms. Shirley Powell, Ms. Joanne Murray, 
And we started our program with, a, with a, our office manager, Miss Alicia McKern, who's no longer with us, but I would like to honor her name as well. And I'd like to also honor someone that came in and replaced her for the rest of this year, and that's Miss Kathy Martin. I want to send a very special thanks to um, some staff right now. What happened this year, we lost two academic support providers and an office manager. So these three or four individuals basically just stood up and helped me behind the scenes. So I really I want to send a special thanks to Lisa Goot, not only a teacher, but a person that really stepped up behind the scenes to make sure that this day happened. Miss Manisha Barboza as well, who has worked tirelessly to make this happen. And literally my, my right hand, my vice principal, my ASP, or whatever you want to call it, Miss Tasia, <laughs> Miss Tasia Davidson. I want to give special thanks out to them. Now we have um, a, f a few staff members that got sick and left because they were sick. So I want to um, just say their names as well. Uh, Miss Sharita Dilly and also um, Miss Latanya Washington, who all who are not with us who are not with us now because they got sick. So I want to make I want to send special honors to them as well. Um, I also would like to send a special thanks to you parents. Thank you so much. You, this has been, this has been a hard, this has been a hard two years. You know, and, and it's been a hard two years. And I'm a parent too. I have a child graduating from Jesse Bethel on Friday. And I have children, younger children. So I know what it means to have to get behind a screen and don't know much about technology and have to get behind that screen and have to work with Wi-Fi and passwords and then still deal with this pandemic. Also know too because I'm part of the care team that some of you in here have lost loved ones. I know that. And I know that and I know that, that we've been we've had people sick through this transition and you guys didn't complain. You guys worked with us. You was patient with us and I want to I really want to thank you for that. I really appreciate it. and I know we as a staff really appreciate your work with us. Okay and I would like to to acknowledge some dignitaries in the room. Okay, we have our superintendent, Mr. Bill Spalding, Dr. Bill Spalding, William Spalding. He's our superintendent. And we have, and it's, it's a person over here that's been a mentor, one of my mentors, and one of the reasons why I'm a, an administrator right now, and who was actually a principal of this school. <laughs> Her name is Dr. Latanya Young. Now, I'm going to say trustee Latanya, Dr. Latanya Young, okay? Now, last, last but not least, last but not least, students, students. Now, I want every single person in this room that's not a student, I don't care if you're the sound crew over there, I don't care if you sight state, I want everybody to clap for these kids here. Okay, all right, all right, that, 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 that was okay. That was all right. We can do better than that. All right, now, I don't understand, I don't understand why y'all sitting down, to be honest. I don't even understand why y'all sitting down. People should be standing up right now. Y'all babies done went through some hard times, went through pandemics, went through COVID, and they still managed to graduate from high school, right? People told them they weren't going to graduate, right? Why is there people still sitting down? People should be standing up and graduating these kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to, students, students, you know, from the staff, I know we, I want to say we, on behalf of the staff, how much we appreciate you and how much, and how proud we are of you. And I want to say on behalf of myself, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now we have two other students that we're going to announce here to say some speeches. Our valedictorian and our salutatorian. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what you're supposed to do in the first place. Why are you waiting now to do that? You should have been doing that a long time ago. Okay, so we're going to ask for Demaria Williams and Delaya Murphy to come to the, come to the mic. 
yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess you guys can sit down now. Okay. Good afternoon, family, friends, staff, and the graduating class of 2021. I am truly honored to be up here and share this special moment with, with everyone. I want to start off by saying congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it. And we can finally say that we're done with this chapter of our life. We can now look back on this part of our journey and thank you for making us who we are today. High school has been a crazy experience and this year alone has been a crazy ride, but we didn't let that stop us. And with that being said, with that being said, give yourself a pat on the back. To our teachers, staff, to our teachers and staff, thank you for working with us throughout this difficult time. We went from sitting behind a desk to sitting behind a computer, and that was a tra transition. Being at home every day and taking classes in the comfort of our home, procrastination became a problem. I began, I began to slip. I honestly felt like doing school on a computer wasn't going to help me in any way, but I was wrong. It taught me how to work in environments that I normally don't work in, and it taught me self-motivation. It taught me to really believe in myself. I am, I am extremely excited to experience this day. I am truly proud of myself and you guys as well. It's a great feeling being able to see all of us gathered together to celebrate this special day. High school has been a, wake a huge wake-up call. High school has shown me a lot. We have lost friends, we have gained friends, and we chose, our, we chose the paths we wanted to take once we left high school. A lot of us got into our dream colleges, and many of us started businesses we hoped for. And it's a, it's a great thing to see and be a part of. I want to thank both of my moms and my family for being my support system throughout my high school journey. No matter what path life takes you on, make, it, make the best of it and always go above and beyond. If you think about it, high school was like our own reality show. We had our good times, we had our bad times, and we had our times to where we didn't want to be a part of the show anymore. But at the end of it, we're all here for the final reunion. I'm glad I was able to meet some great people throughout high school. Again, congratulations to, the, to us, the class of 2021. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. We're waiting for Ms. DeLaya's paper, so just bear with us for a moment because we want her to do this right, okay? Okay. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to welcome the students, family, and staff to graduation day. At John Finney High School, every one of you have made an impact on graduates who sit here today. And you should be proud. You have helped us by making sure we had the blueprint we had. We needed to make the mark on the world that, to be able to spread our wings and prepare to leave the nest. 
for the next chapter of our young adult lives. Looking back, I realized entering high school was kind of rocky for me because I was unmotivated and the atmosphere I was in wasn't for me. I started at Berkeley schools where teachers were not supportive. It was not until I got to Vallejo where I started to receive the help I needed. I began to thrive mentally and academically. Be being able to work with staff members who wanted to see you succeed rather than just fail, you being able to uplift you and not knock you down when you needed help the most. Now we're here for, now we are here. Four years later, being able to graduate during a p pandemic is like a blessing and a curse. A blessing is where you're able to do your assignments when you, on your own time. And it's a curse because students who are visual learners cannot get the attention that they need. Being in a classroom, environment is the best because you get the help from your teacher. I know we've all grown up and changed over the course of the pandemic. The kind of growth I've experienced is learning my special abilities as a person and discovering what I enjoy outside of working. Some of my special abilities is writing, such as poetry and helping others through listening by putting myself in their shoes while solving their problems. In the words of Nissi Hupso the Great, it's not in you, it's on you, and what's in you they can't take away, which he means by this to never give up because you were born to make it and when, when it's hard, push through, through it because you're only getting better and be the change you want to see. So congratulations to the class of 20, 2021. You have made it through the pandemic <laughs> and survived distance learning and now you're ready to be destined in the world, to do what you are destined to do in the world. That's it. Okay, now we will have some remarks from our superintendent. Good afternoon. I just wanted to say a couple of things to this class, and I wanted to, to share with you that my favorite graduations always, every year, are with schools like Finney. And this is my first year back. I was here many years ago, but in the time since I've been in, in working in a number of school districts with high schools, but my favorite, my favorite graduations are always with the alternative school. And I, my favorite graduation is with the alternative school because I know that the people who are there, the young people who are graduating, have come through more, they've worked harder, the road has been steeper, it's been rockier, it's been tougher. And so that I know that when they're sitting here in front of you, and when they're getting those diplomas, they've worked harder for those diplomas than a lot of other people have. And what this is, is not just a celebration of achieving a high school diploma, it's a celebration of tenacity and grit and perseverance and character. And so I just want you, I want you guys to know um, how much you've inspired me. And as I've seen you, you know, in some of the Circle B meetings and I've been at WASC meetings with you guys, I've always been inspired. You guys inspire me and uplift me you are my heroes. Congratulations, the mighty class of 2021. Okay, everyone. I'm on, a, I'm on agenda right now to say an address. And I promise you, I'm not gonna be long because it's not about me. It's about you guys. Okay, and now, you know, whenever I speak publicly, I always have to have some kind of title just so I can keep myself on point with what I got to say. 
So, I, so I've been thinking all this week, what would the title be of what I'm going to say? And here's a title that I came up with. I'm tired. <laughs> now, from my, from my, my African-American vernacular, I'm not tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. We've been through a lot, you guys. We've been through a lot. Um, I, I know as a parent, you know, having to work with my children, get them online, make sure that they're, they're, the Wi-Fi is working that day and, and all that. As a, as a, as a um, son, my mother is a stroke victim and she, had, she caught COVID this year. So I know what it feels like to have um, a mother or someone in the hospital for almost four weeks biting your nails. You know, um, and then just working, working at, you know, school. Now I'm not disgruntled. I'm not disgruntled, Dr. <laughs> Dr. I'm, not, I'm not complaining. I'm just tired. I'm tired. And if, and, if, and if everybody here was to speak, I know some of you guys would say the same thing. I'm tired. It's been a lot. It's been a long year. We've been through a lot. We've gone through a lot. But despite all of that, you know, we persevered. We went through it. We were able to um, still get our classes done. I, I think of our teachers. I mean, they literally had to learn on the fly. We literally, it was like March, we closed down. And it was no plan, no, it was no book to it. It was, no, it was no, um, no program to it. It was literally, we shut down. So we were basically biting our nails, pulling our hair, trying to figure out what we was gonna do. But the teachers, they, they stepped it up. They, they, they learned things that they didn't know. <laughs> they had to figure things out. And they, and they stepped and rise to the occasion to, to, to give you guys a good product. I think of our care team who had to tirelessly work and call. I know some of y'all sitting here right now have had phone calls from Ms. Dilly or Ms. Spencer or Ms. Tasia calling your homes and dealing with your parents and dealing with you. I know some of you would say that. You know, we, we, we had to do a lot. You know, and, and now it's not a bad time. It's a good time because when they, if you work hard, you know, I, I used to coach high school basketball. And I used to tell my players, I used to say, if you, after my practice, is not tired, I'm offended that you need to leave everything you have on that court before you get off that court. Well, I'm telling you right now, I done left everything on the court. I done left it there. So what I'm going to do, because again, I'm not going to keep you long. I'm just going to give you three things, students. Just three words. Three words of advice. I can give you a thousand, but I'm just going to give you three today for free. All right? So the first thing I want to say to you is to write your own story. Write your own story. If you don't write your own story, somebody's going to write your story for you. They're going to write your story for you. And just think about some of the stories people may have said about you before. Right? Now, that causes for you to get to know who you are. You need to know your core. You need to know what your non-negotiables are. What do, you, what do you believe in? What are your values? Because truth be told, y'all don't know yourselves. You're still young. You're still figuring it out. But once you learn yourselves, you need to be yourselves and tell your story. Okay? Second thing. The second thing I want to say is don't skate. You know one of the biggest lies that's told in these graduation speeches and everything is you graduated. You got your diploma. Everything's good now. You're gonna go to college, gonna do that. But you know what? Life is hard. Life is hard. And don't cheat and try to shortcut it. If you're gonna go to school, study. If you're gonna get a job, work your job, be there on time, work your job, stay your job, and do what you're supposed to do. Handle your business and try not to shortcut things. Don't skate. If I was to ever criticize y'all generation, I'd say something, sometimes y'all want things handed to you. Life, nobody owes you nothing. Amen. Understand that. Nobody owes you anything. You got to be willing to work hard for whatever you want and, not, and, not, and be unapologetic about it. You can do it because if you wouldn't have been able to do it, you wouldn't be here right now. And I told you I wasn't going to be long because it's my last one. It's my last one. Be the reason but not the reason. Be the reason why this community is better. Do you know that as we're talking right now, there are voting laws being made up in other states to keep some of you from voting 
Are you going to vote? Be, you need to be the reason why this community is better. You need to be the reason why your family's better. You need to be the reason why your mamas and your daddies and your uncles and all them are doing well. You need to be that reason. Because I'm telling you something right now, and this is the truth. This is factual. You are either one of two things. You're either a contributor or you're an existor. You're a contributor or you're an existor. If you're an exhibitor, exister, what you do is take up air. That's all you do. You just take up air. You just walk around, play video games, don't do nothing, and just take up air in space, in time. If you're a contributor, you contribute to something. Your little sister's little brother should be better because of you. Your little nieces and nephews should be better because of you. If you had a job, that job should be better because of you. It should be. Because I'm going to say this right now, and I'm gonna, I told you I'm going to be long. I'm going to say this right now. If, if, and I want you all to pay attention to this. If this world is not somehow better because of your life existence, then your life was a waste of time. You understand that? So be the reason. Congratulations to every single one of you guys. You guys deserve this moment. You are the, you are the celebrities today. This, this, this event is because of you. And I told you it wasn't going to be long. Thank you. <laughs> Off the head. Okay, um, okay, so now we're at the best part of the celebration. We're at the presentation of our diplomas. So, John Finney, students, y'all remember rehearsal yesterday, right? So don't make me look bad. Y'all remember rehearsal yesterday, right? Okay. All right, so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and start our diplomas. So I'm going to introduce the great Mr. Christopher Varios to my mic. That's to the left of me. And the beautiful, lovely Miss Manisha Barboza to the right of me. Well, sort of, yeah. It's not, it won't stay in one spot, so you just kind of move through it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Demaria Williams. Well, just tell me your name. <laughs> Amari Wright. Okay. Delea Murphy. <laughs> Michaela Morales. Ariana Rogers. Javier Evans. Go 
Jacob Yeskas. Allison Brown Reyes. Yes. One second. One second. Elijah Doyle. Samaria Daniels. Kyrie Golden. Okay. Yeah. Deja Fields. Jason Sosa. Andre Jones. Brandon Reyes. Jade Flachero. Emiliano Gonzalez Sanchez. Oh, oh I already know. Samantha Regoza. Tristan Fisher. Yep. Ayana Dennis. Emiliano Sandoval.
Okay. Faith Marwick. Love them eyelashes, girl. Jessica Soto. Joseph Stearman. Lorena Elizabeth Vasquez Hermosillo. Josiah Henderson. Donald Peterson, Jr. Nikita Hart. Marco Ayala. Ready? Okay. Love your nails. Franklin Baxley. Robert Reason the third. Omar Van. Rumonte Haynes. Watch this. DeAndre. Wilson. Alyssa Brooks. Angel Benitez. <laughs> Jocelyn Arias. Don't, don't get me scared, man. I'm scared. It's fun to have a good 
Garon Clapp. Jonisha Broomfield. Mark Lopez Vasquez. Gavino Carrasco. Damien Syed. Bryson Turnbow, the champ. Delanique Cole Baker. You did a great job. <laughs> Thanks. Sonia Fink. Maria Benuelos. Tajay Smith. Donovan Guerrero. Serena Ibanez. Marie Janae Amadates.
Nehemiah Alexander Jackson. Tyreek Woods. Samaj Johnson. Yeah, okay, I'll do that first. Okay. okay. Could the class of 2021 please rise? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what y'all supposed to do in the first place. Okay. So on behalf of our school site, we qualify that you have met the requirements and study to earn a high school diploma. So you may take your tassel and move it to the left. Congratulations, 2021. All right, we got one more, one more. <laughs> one more. Okay, our superintendent will. This is actually a two-step process. So he just certified that you have met all the requirements of the graduation for graduation from John Finney Complex. And my job is to declare you graduates from the Vallejo City Unified School District on behalf of the governing board of the Vallejo City Unified School District by the powers vested in me by that governing board and the state of California. Congratulations to the mighty class of 2021.
No. The silence is in quiet, and it feels like it's getting hard to breathe. And I know you feel like dying. 